Hey y'all, it's December the 13th, 2016, and I want to talk to y'all very briefly about Kanye West. Alright, uh, you may or may not know I've said some funny things about Kanye West in the past, alright? Uh, because there have been times when Kanye West went straight up full retard in front of all of us. All right. And in case I didn't make myself clear back when I was talking about it, his retardness, uh, anybody, everybody, especially me, can go for retard. All right. If we're just not thinking at that particular time. And uh, the thing is, television cameras don't follow me around. All right. So that's why they never caught me doing going that way. All right. Kanye, they caught him all right before in the past. And I've talked about it. Right, but it's easier for celebrities, first of all, to get caught going full retard. Secondly, it's easier for celebrities to go full retards because they're be, they have so much money that you wouldn't believe. All right, they got so much opportunity to go retard that uh, you wouldn't believe. All right, so I just wanted to establish that I've talked about him in the past. I've enjoyed his music, a lot of his music. I have enjoyed it thoroughly in the past as well. And there's some that I didn't like so much. All right, but here, here's the thing about Kanye. I don't know if everybody caught this, but a, a, over a couple of weeks ago, Kanye West just so happened to basically endorse Donald Trump at a concert, and that went viral. Then, immediately after that, Kanye West was thrown into a crazy person uh, place. He was thrown into crazy people jail. All right. And when this happened, I was very, I was made very curious about that. All right. I couldn't help but wonder. It's like, do those th two things, are they, um, are they as associated? Like, are, you know, did one of those things lead to the other thing? I couldn't help but wonder that. And there were some people who, you know, immediately they correlated the two endorsing Donald Trump being in, thrown into crazy people jail all right they correlated it I didn't want to do that because I wasn't sure if the two things might have been correlated at all all right so uh, because here's the thing you have to be a little bit nuts to say you like Donald Trump in front of the demographic of people that Kanye West was saying it in front of you have to have some balls, and that's for sure. All right. So I didn't speak on that. I sat back and I waited. But y'all seen because it's all over the television and everywhere else. Kanye West, he's out of crazy people jail. And he went and actually visited Donald Trump in person. And as far as I know, you know, they've known each other and been uh, friends for quite some time now. All right. And a lot of people might not understand the significance of this, of what happened. Kanye West went against the grain, which is something that people need desperately to do now, especially in Kanye West's um, position, because it's so easy in that kind of stature to just completely keep doing what you're doing Doing the status quo, getting that money, getting that money, getting that money. You're going to get all sort of money. All right. If you roll with Hillary Clinton and things like that. Jay-Z will tell you. Beyonce will tell you. You get money. You'll get all sort of money for going that kind of way. Not only that, you know, it's all sort of bizarre stuff. It's all sort of bizarre kind of stuff. It's spirit cooking and everything else, man. Pedo gate and everything else surrounding the DNC. Uh, but it doesn't matter if you're a rapper or something, you need to endorse them, right? Or you need to endorse communism or socialism, whatever. You need to play the victim. You need to play the victim. And it's hilarious. You know, you got Colin um, Kaepernick and all these sort of people who I've never heard of. And they got millions and millions and millions of dollars. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And they're playing the victim. Me over here, I don't got no kind of dollars. <laughs> But I'm not no victim, and you're not, you're not going to see me like all parading around feeling sorry for myself and everybody who looks like me. 
All right, so Kanye West seemed to go against the grain with what he was doing. I don't know if he's going to disassociate from people. I don't know if these tabloids are even telling the truth about uh, Kim Kardashian uh, divorcing him. You know, all that speculation right about now. But what we do know is Kanye West just went against logic and he endorsed Trump, who's been a longtime friend of his, I suppose. And he endorsed him even though there's plenty of straight up and down retards who go to Kanye West's uh, you know, performances and buy his stuff who they have been instructed by the television to hate Donald Trump forever and ever. More than anybody else. Alright, so when Kanye West goes ahead and endorses Donald Trump and then meets with Donald Trump, this is very crucial. It's going to be prove. It's going to prove to be very crucial in Kanye West's career. Not only that, his life, All right? Because Kanye West, I have a, a a weird feeling that he's not going to be getting the same kind of money from the same places that he used to be. Now he he does seem to be very familiar and rolling with Donald Trump, so he probably will still be getting money, All right? And God bless him. I hope he does get money. But he's not going to be getting it from the same places. He's taking a very large risk. He's taking a very large risk. Why? Because he's an individual. He's one of those people who's just a stubborn, just absolutely, almost to, to the point of being obnoxious type of individual. You can't put him in a box because he'll break out of the box. All right. And, and Kanye West went ahead and in a lot of y'all's eyes he picked the lesser of two evils and i want to address that real quick before we finish up kanye west in a lot of y'all's eyes picked the lesser of two evils might i add that kanye west has always purported to be a christian here's the thing um as a christian i'm gonna have to go ahead and put it out there uh anybody who is a real christian is always 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 going to pick the lesser of two evils you have all sort of people out there saying oh I won't I, you know I won't be made to pick the lesser of two evils you gotta understand you pick between human beings every last one of us has sin and will sin again all right I would rather pick the person who wants to sin less than the other person you know I would rather pick the person who doesn't just um, seem like they want to squash everybody like a bug you know what I'm saying and apparently Kanye West feels the same even though a lot of his constituency and they're not trying to hear that Kanye West just went ahead and he established he's an individual man you're really not going to tell him what to do he may wall out he may be retarded all on sway and all all over the television but he is still an individual and you can't take that from him all right uh anyways it's december the 13th 2016 and you know shoot for everything that Kanye has done that I might not agree with that may or may not be straight up and down retarded I still remember when Kanye West put out a track on his brand new debut album and that track was called Jesus Walks and he didn't have to anyways I'm gonna holler at y'all <laughs>